Hello everyone, this is Inspired 2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So, the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Virgo, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week, commencing the 5th until the 11th of September 2016. The first card for you is representing, the past position of your love life. Your card is, the 8 of Wands. This card contains a high level of energy and movement that propels you forward to reach your goals at a much faster pace than ever before. You can expect to be very busy but this is one of those good busy periods where you are enthusiastic and energetic about the progress you are making. The Eight of Wands represents a very focused kind of motion and activity. The Eights are all about structure while the Wands are about raw energy. Thus, the structure of the eight creates a channel through which the raw energy can flow. You are so sure about your goal that all distractions have been removed and you can devote yourself to the task with complete concentration, determination, and will. This experience can be very productive, allowing you to accomplish a lot in short time. With the Eight of Wands you can look forward to the rapid completion of a project that is currently underway but you can also expect to be occupied by something new and even more exciting and inspiring very soon. There really is no stopping you right now as you are just bursting with energy and ideas, and cannot wait to achieve one task in order to start another. To maximize this energy, it is important to ensure that your activities are focused on your broader goals and that you are investing in the right things at the right time. Also, make sure that before you move to the next task, your previous task is complete. This card is a sign to strike while the iron is hot. It is most definitely an action-oriented card that encourages you to move quickly to pursue the best opportunities available right now. There is no waiting around while the Eight of Wands is present so determine where your energy will be directed and get on with it. Often, the Eight of Wands suggests air travel. It is more likely to be a short-term or whirlwind trip, such as a business trip or holiday. You may even enjoy being part of a tour group that visits 10 countries in as many days. On the downside, the Eight of Wands denotes haste and rapid advancement of a situation which may result in the wrong decisions being made. It will be important to have all your resources available to be used in your best interests. Be mindful not to rush into things without having a clear plan of where you are heading. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the Eight of Swords. 
This card reflects that you feel trapped by your own thoughts and perspectives. The woman in this card is blindfolded and bound, trapping her into thinking that she has no way out. However, if only she could remove the blindfold and change her thinking, she would see that she does indeed have options. So, the Eight of Swords suggests that you need to look at a difficult situation from a new angle. Draw upon your intellectual self and your emotional self to determine the best path forward, one that avoids any possible victimization or restriction. The Eight of Swords is often a sign that it is best not to make any important decisions at this point because your thinking has been limited and constrained by self-imposed boundaries. You are struggling to see a situation for what it is and have been led to believe certain things that may or may not be true. There are choices available but first you must be within the right mindset to know which option to choose. This means releasing the bindings and the blindfold to see the situation from a different, less imposing angle. There may also be too many ideas running through your head. Thus it is best to wait until you feel more secure and certain about a situation before making important decisions and taking action. The woman in the Eight of Swords is often seen as powerless. She has surrendered her power to an unknown entity thus rendering herself completely powerless. She has become the victim and is now waiting to be rescued. If you see part of this woman in yourself, then it is imperative you take back your power and personal accountability and open your eyes to the options that lie in front of you. The fact is that you do have options, even if you do not like those options. This is fine, so long as you accept that you do indeed have options and you do not have to be the victim here. The Eight of Swords portrays a dilemma whereby you are faced with the difficulty of a painful decision and you are at an impasse, uncertain of which way to go. However, what you may not realize is that the decision in the Eight is the result of our own actions. Despite the fact that you have boxed yourself into a corner, there is a way out. The solution is simply to deal with the situation in the most direct yet tactful manner possible, and face your choice with inner strength. It is time to be honest with yourself and others in order to be free of the burden of fear or guilt that is implied with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords can indicate that your interests will be opposed by other people and this may create restrictions to what it is you want to achieve. Take back your power and realize that you have options whether others oppose you or not. You do not have to be constrained by their way of thinking or their rules. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, the Page of Wands. This Page of Wands is a free spirit who represents change and new beginnings. He has a true passion for life, despite his understanding of this world is not yet fully developed. He has not yet been weighed down by the burdens of the material world, coming and going as he pleases, and usually encouraging change wherever he goes. He is like the catalyst that inspires changes that might be impossible in any other situation. The appearance of the Page of Wands indicates that you are experiencing a creative restlessness within you that is just waiting for some sort of expression, or, you may be on the verge of some sort of discovery or new phase of life. The Page of Wands represents the sudden creative spark that comes to you, suddenly and unexpectedly, and that starts you down the road of a new creative vision. Thus, he encourages you to express yourself and your individuality with light-hearted abandon. Listen to your unconscious mind and follow your creative urges, even if you are worried about being the lonely voice crying out in the wilderness. With persistence and a balanced perspective even the immature desires of the Page of Wands can be transformed into a beautiful creative vision that can change the world. Similarly, the Page of Wands indicates that you need to be positive and spontaneous but not overly impulsive. 
your enthusiasm impresses others but if you become impatient or quick to anger or lose interest, you will put others offside and you will waste time in your creative projects. With the page of wands, you are inclined to give anything and everything a go. If you are enthusiastic or passionate enough, you embrace the opportunity to start out on a new journey or project and see where it takes you. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed but you do know that you are excited about the possibilities. You are enjoying being busy and involved in various activities and projects. You like the freedom of being able to choose what you will work on today, and hopefully it is different from what you worked on the day before. Oftentimes, the Page of Wands is a messenger, bringing you inspiring or unexpected news, new information or a welcome surprise. It may be the birth of a child, a new and inspiring idea that a friend has, or a new opportunity for you to be involved in to change the world such as a community project. His news is nearly always positive and welcomed because it is often associated with change and creation. The Page of Wands may also represent someone you know or who is about to enter your life. He is a trusted friend who is devoted to your interests and will do everything he can to help you. His intentions will be honorable and genuine. He is here in your life to spark change, to help you see the world from a new perspective and to guide you towards a new approach. While you may look to this page as an amateur or childlike presence, he actually has a lot to offer you if you open yourself up to the possibilities that he shares with you. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is The Five of Autumn. When times feel challenging to you, there's always a way to receive help, ask for divine guidance. God, the angels, and the fairies are continuously nearby awaiting your requests for assistance. Help can just suddenly appear and provide you with what you need. Look for signs regarding how to proceed next. Magical messages appear at every turn, in every moment of every day, if only you ask for them to be made clear. By focusing on the negative or the things in your life that make you unhappy, you set yourself on the path for more difficulties to arise. These are called self-fulfilling prophecies. Keep your thoughts positive and focused on that which you do want. A little boy fairy has the wisdom to ask for help when he needs it. Additional meanings of this card, feeling challenged by money issues. Priming for a career change. Believing that you're alone when you're not. Health concerns. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just Please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.